YouTube and uh, Zippo enthusiasts, I am uh, here for the unboxing of my Armor High Polished Brass 169 Zippo and the unboxing and review of the uh, Vector Thunderbird pipe insert. It runs on butane, it's not Zippo fluid. And I uh, just want to show you guys. Now, there we go. This first is the. Oops, sorry. This first is the pipe insert. There we go. Thunderbird Vector Butane. It is a pipe insert. You can see there's nothing on the side and the top. And what else do we got here? Oops. Sorry. And we have There we go, we have the 169 high polished brass armor heavy. There we go, I've never seen this, you obviously see me take the wrapper off. There we go. Looks like silver under the light, but it's actually high polished brass. And it's just so fine right now. And uh, Usually sunlight you see it a little better, like if you go outside on a cloudy day, with a brass lighter, it just looks like gold. And that's the marks from the company. They're not scratches. That's the high polished brass. Very nice lighter. Let's see the bottom here. It is an I. It is an I-17. Now, I'm not going to touch this with my hands. When I have plastic gloves later, I am going to take the stickers off and seal it. This is one I'm never going to open. I'm just putting away. Now, I buy two of everything. So, here is the lighter. So I obviously bought two, one to put away, one to use every day. I use a Zippo every day. It is an I-17, so that is September 17th. And you can see the armor symbol right there. It is 1.5 times thicker than a regular Zippo. And you can feel it in your hands, and when you close it, you can really feel that better thickness. Just a great Zippo. And I already had it for a day. And the reason why I got the high polished brass is because it looks nice, but the patina. You want a high polished brass Zippo because of the patina. It just, it looks great, scratches, it tells a story. Every Zippo user has to have a, have a brass Zippo in their collection that they've used for a long time. It just, it looks awesome. And here in my high polished chrome lighter, oh, and the insert on the brass lighter is actually a J 2017. So that would be October. The, light, the shells from September and the inserts from October, I'm assuming the other Zippo is probably the same or maybe the dates match up. I won't know because I'm never opening it, so I'll never be able to actually verify that. But, and for the pipe insert, because I do have a pipe, that is the butane. It spews out butane while that cam right here is open and when it's closed it shuts it off. So when you open it, butane is running out of it right now. Click it, boom. And it's good for the pipe lights very well. This is obviously a high polished chrome Zippo. It is a February 2014 Zippo. Had it for a while. As you can see, this is high polished. Look at all the scratches. I was my everyday user for a long time. Still will be, but now I have the high polished brass armor. It's kind of going to take its place and be all the time. Uh, now these other Zippos I'm going to show you here. I'm sending these in for repairs. This one here is my father's Zippo. Okay, it is broken. The lid has come off over time. As you can see here, I'm sending that in repair back to Zippo. It is a 1985 or 86 Zippo. It's a Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada Zippo. It's hard to see there on the bottom because of the plating. But if you take out the thing, it says it all over the bottom. Now. In Canada, they didn't start stamping them with numbers till 87, and before that, unlike the American Zippo, they have dots or streaks or slashes or whatever for the years, for whatever decade they have them in. So you can always date those Zippos. The Canadian ones, you have to go by whatever was just marked on them by the company those years. And so they're a little harder to go, but if you email them, they'll send you all the information you need to look at. I'm not going to go over that now. 
So anyways, so this one's an 85 or an 86, one of the two. It was my dad's, he carried it for years, obviously broke, he stopped, I'm going to send it and fix for him. This one I got when I was 10 years old, it was my grandfather, Luigi's. He came to this country from uh, Italy, obviously. And uh, he got this in 1965, it is a 1965 Niagara Falls, Ontario Zippo. Now it doesn't say that anywhere on there, 1965, you gotta go on the, you gotta get the email from them and go back and trace your Zippo back by the markings on the Zippo. But I know my grandpa got this in 1965 because it was given to him from his work. It's not engraved or anything like that because they didn't do that back then. Well, for a small gift that worked, they didn't go through all the trouble of engraving it. It was just a gift that everybody got at a certain mark and his was 1965. So anyways, and this lid is obviously the same thing as that one. These lids go, you play with them, you try to do tricks with them, stupid crap with them, you're gonna break them, that's what happens. Zippo assured me that they can restore both those Zippos to their entirety. So I'm going to, and they said, I sent them pictures, they said it's totally fixable, they'll send me back the originals. Now I have Zippos that I've already sent in to Zippo. Uh, it was a Venetian Slim, early 90s in Niagara Falls. I got that when I was only 14 years old. I've had it my whole life. It was given to me by an older guy. Uh, I don't. He was. I was at his house. Uh, whatever. He gave it to me. He said, "Oh, you like that?" I was playing with it. He said, "You like it? You can have it." Turns out it was his ex-wife's, and it was a Slim. I, d I didn't know at the time that Slims were lady Zippos, so I was like, "Oh, cool, a Zippo for me." You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, but it turns out it was his ex-wife's, and that's why he didn't want it. And that's why I had so I had that one for a long time. I sent that one in and then I had a smashed solid brass early 1990s uh, another slim. I had I got that when I was a kid too. And I had smashed it with a hammer. And I sent that into Zippo and they are sending they said they would consider sending me back a regular size solid brass Zippo in its place because I said I don't like the slim, I, I don't need a slim. I was like in the one I want on your website's actually cheaper than the slim. I was like, so you guys would be saving money by not replacing it with that exact one. And uh, they said, yeah, sure. So I'm gonna have an unboxing of that when they send me those two in the mail. And then when they send me those two in the mail, I'm sending these three in. They all have loose, obviously these two have the lids right off and this one has a loose hinge. And it's obviously a 2014, it's had it for a lot of years. Uh, so I'm gonna send those in and then when they send them back too, I'll do a video of that. And uh, I just wanted to say too, guys, what I wanted to do was I wanted to start a thing where like if you have an old crappy Zippo broken or it means nothing to you or whatever, send me it. I'll private message me. I'll send you an address to send it to. Send me it, and you won't have. Uh, it's an American address, so you won't have to worry about that. Send me that, and send me a you know maybe a photo of yourself, story, biography, where you got the light from, a little about yourself, fond memories, who you are, where you're from, and I will do a video on that. I will do an opening of that. I'll read your story. I'll show you Zippo, and then I'll put it in my display case with the photo in the in the story, and I'll do a video on that obviously too. So you'll be able to you know even commemorate it if you have no one to leave it to or. You don't you don't care about them anymore or whatever you know whatever you want to do. Sometimes you have no family and yeah you, you want maybe it was your favorite Zippo ever and you love the lighter you got no one to leave it to and you want it to be on display forever. Well, I'll put it on display forever and make a video commemorating it. Anyways, I wanted to start because I thought to myself you know what I have a Zippo collection going. Obviously they're not all here right now. I have uh, more at home, but I noticed that every Zippo I had is sentimental in some way. So now that I really can't get a, another sentimental Zippo in my life, you know, maybe a warm story from someone around the world or, you know, uh, somewhere in America or whatever. A story of those, you know, where you got it from, everything like that. Have a collection from around the world with everybody. I just thought that would be a, a good idea. And, and if you think it's a good idea, you know, let me know. If not, that's cool too. But uh, I'm not going to do Zippo, uh, a video on how to fill your Zippo. If you... Uh, if you already don't know how to fill your Zippo, then this channel's not for you. But uh, another thing I wanted to say too, I seen a video online and a buddy was saying the armor isn't 1.5 times thicker than a, a regular Zippo. He had a caliper. Now, what he didn't show you was that he went on and he took a chrome Zippo. These are solid pieces of brass dipped in nickel five times and then a chrome coating put on. 
So when you measure it, it's going to be already thicker than a regular Zippo because it has the coating on it. It has that chrome coating in the nickel. So he measured that and then he measured an armored brass which has no coating at all and he got it that it wasn't 1.5 times thicker. Well, it wouldn't be because of the coating on the chrome. If you took a regular solid brass Zippo and then an armored brass Zippo did that same measurement, you would find different readings. So I just wanted to talk about that too. And if there's anything you guys want to talk about, please comment. Uh, if you think there's a discussion video you want me to do, I'd gladly do it. Leave it in the comments. And uh, just this is just for Zippo enthusiasts, people who truly love Zippos, sentimental Zippos or whatever. You know, anything you guys want. And I'll be unboxing more Zippos and I'll be doing more videos of the Zippos that I send in for repairs and the Zippos I get back from repairs. I've obviously got two out and I'm going to be sending another three out. Maybe four because my son, he wants to send his Zippo in. It was his other grandfather's, not my father. But uh, so there it is, guys. Uh, look forward to the next video. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good night. And uh, if you guys love Zippos, uh, please comment. Let's talk more about them. All right. Talk to you later, guys.